Hey guys and welcome to another taste testing video. I'm pumped for today's because I guessing most people love snacking. I don't know if I love snacking. So I went to the store with the purposeful intent of finding healthier snacks, snacks that were more macro friendly, snacks that were a bit cleaner. So I went with that intent and just kind of went through and picked out there's actually a lot of stuff here. I got a little more than I thought I was going to. So I'm gonna have to try to make each of these reviews kind of quick. But I'm excited because I found some good stuff. So the first thing are these Harvest Snap, um, Harvest Snaps Green Pea Snack Crisps. Yeah, try try saying that whole little thing ten times. Go for it. Um, but I've had these before. I have not had this flavor though. These are the Wasabi Ranch. I don't think these are super new. I think they're on the newer side. Mhm. Mm it's got a really good wasabi flavor, but it's not too much. Like I said, I don't like a lot. So you get that spice, you get that heat. Mm -hmm. But it's not overpowering. It's not too much. I could take a little more ranch flavor. But other than that, these are really good. And I would totally sit there and snack on these while watching TV or whatever. These are fantastic. And they give you that satisfying crunchiness that a potato chip would. So they're baked, never fried, farm direct peas, 55% less fat, and found in the produce aisle. So yeah, I actually did notice that these, you typically find these in the produce section of the grocery store. So yeah, these are fantastic. So these next, um, I did actually try these already, sorry. Um, but these are purple sweet potato chips in the flavor rosemary herb. And these are gluten-free, GMO-free, zero trans fat, vegan, nothing artificial. So I can already tell you I know they're freaking delicious. Um, I don't really taste the difference between orange sweet potatoes and purple sweet potatoes, um, at least in this format. I've never had purple sweet potatoes baked or anything like that. But the rosemary flavor is really good. The garlic flavor is really good. Um, I actually was kind of attracted by the name of these. I thought this was very interesting. 3 p.m. bites, no guilt treats for athletes. Oh, for athletes. Well, I'm not an athlete. Does that mean I shouldn't eat this? So it says, with nutritious dates, seeds and grains, hemp, chia, flax, and quinoa, plant-based, low glycemic index, organic, 12 grams of protein per bag. And these are in the flavor of peanut butter truffles. There's a lot of claims in here. Okay, so they're organic, vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, non-GMO, no added sugar, no preservatives, real food. Wow. But let's put it to the taste test because that's the real test here, right? So they're kind of on the small side, so I can see why people eat like the whole bag. All right, let's just try it. Mmm. The puffed quinoa gives it a really good texture. Good peanut butter flavor. It's not super date-y, so if you don't like things that are sweetened with dates, this is actually pretty good. It doesn't have a really strong date flavor. I really like that. I love the texture that the quinoa gives it. I think you already said that, but those are fantastic. And I can see why people would eat this whole bag. These are so good. Alright, so I have four bars and a chip item left, but the chips are a spicy sriracha flavor, so I'm going to save those for last and do the bars next. So the first one, um, these are called Honey Bar. I never heard of this brand. Also got this from Marshalls, I believe. Yes. Um, so this is, so they had a couple different flavors. I like this one sounded the best, the quinoa and cranberry. They're in very simple packaging. But I like that um, this is kind of like Kind Bars in the sense that you can see everything that's in it. Now let's try it and see if it tastes good. It's a little chewy. It's a little chewy than I'd want it to be. You get a strong peanut flavor, which for being called quinoa and cranberry, now the first ingredient is peanuts, which means that there's more peanuts than anything else in here. Um, but the flavor is quinoa and cranberry. I think they would have been better off marketing this as a peanut flavor because that is the dominant flavor that I get in this. You got a little bit of cranberry. The texture's okay, it was a little harder to chew than I would have wanted. Whatever the glaze is that they have on it is really nice. Um, and that bite, I just the second bite I took was nowhere near as chewy as the first one. So it's really good, but I think 
I think they should have called it because quinoa doesn't have a flavor really quinoa is pretty bland and that's why you have to you add things to it to flavor quinoa but that's what's also cool about quinoa is you can give it so many different flavors you could put it in sweet things you could put it in savory things because there's so much you can do with it however I would have called this more like peanuts and cranberry um instead of quinoa and cranberry just because and like on the front too it says only real ingredients like honey quinoa cranberries almonds apricots and cinnamon so they didn't even mention it on the front yet it's the number one flavor in the ingredients and it's definitely the dominant taste in here not saying it's bad it's definitely good and um if i didn't have other things to eat i would probably finish this but yeah it's good i just think they should probably market it as something with peanuts if that's the main flavor and taste but definitely good um would recommend these i would enjoy this if i needed a nice little snack like this and i like its minimalist packaging um just because when you i don't know i think it just looks cool so yeah there's that all right next bar let's go to this one i've never had a health warrior bar before i've definitely heard of them excuse my nails um so there it's a superfood bar this is a chia bar acai berry um five grams of sugar three grams of protein four grams of fiber five grams of fat omega threes 100 calories for this little thing um so it's kind of small and tiny i thought this might have been like half a serving but it says it's 100 calories so i guess it makes sense Ooh, yeah it's very little um this probably is not something that i would pick up to eat if i was really hungry and look at what look how much how much chia seeds there are in there like that is packed full of chia seeds all right let's give it a try that's a lot of chia seeds so the main portion of the texture comes from the chia seeds and there's so many that it's almost hard to find the flavor it's definitely very datey um Yeah, this would be something if I, I would eat if I really, really needed to get some extra fiber into my day and just really wanted to have a bunch of chia seeds. Um, this isn't something I would grab if I was hungry or wanted something sweet. Um, this would be if I really just wanted the health benefits from it because it's just meh. Um, so the next is the gluten-free bar. So I have seen this brand before at a few different places that sell um like healthy protein bars and stuff like that but i didn't know they had bars i've tried they have bites um they're gluten-free bites and i got those at marshall's once and tried those and they were i think they were pretty good but it was a long time ago i don't really remember so this is dark chocolate and coconut there's 10 grams of plant protein they're gluten-free soy free non-gmo vegan i love chocolate and i love coconut so Ooh, i already like it Smells good. It tastes like a dry brownie, protein brownie with coconut. So, if you've had any other kind of protein brownie, that's definitely the same kind of flavor where it's like that crumbly, not like moist texture, but you still kind of feel like it tastes like a brownie in a way with the protein flavor. The coconut has a lot of good flavor. But I really like this. I would definitely finish this. I would be interested to see what would happen if I threw this in the microwave for like five seconds, five, ten seconds, and see if it got warm, how it would be. Good. Definitely like this. Would definitely finish this. This is really good. I like that. All right. So last bar is the one I'm the most excited about. Um, so I've had this brand before, Thunderbird. I've actually done a review, maybe even two reviews. I think just one. On my blog of one of their other bars and so this one is called the Texas maple pecan and I believe it's new maybe for summer or something like that I've definitely never seen it before but it's paleo and vegan grain-free no sugar added Ooh, smells mapley mm, mm -hmm. you get all those different kind of flavors in there I love what the maple flavoring does to the dates it kind of I don't know it makes it gives it almost more of like obviously it gives it a maple leaf flavor and the cinnamon they just act really well together if I had dropped that on the floor I would have cried what do they call this again Texas maple pecan I almost wish I would have had a little bit more pecan because I but I love pecan so that's why I like the texture of it it's much softer than I thought it would be 
it's not it's not super chewy or anything like that. Mm. I really like the maple flavor in that. The maple and the pecan together are just wonderful. Um, if they were slightly crunchier, that might help too. They are not, they're not super, but pecans themselves aren't super crunchy. And I think this is absolutely delicious. So my stamp of approval. Last thing I'm super pumped, especially because this video is 25 minutes so far. So hopefully I've cut out a good amount of time. But the last item are thin and crispy banana chips. Um, but the flavor is sriracha. So I thought that was really interesting. Three grams of fiber per serving, that's cool. They're vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, no trans fat, cholesterol-free, so ridiculously light, thin and crispy that you'll swear they are potato chips. Well, let's find out. They smell so good. <laughs> Definitely spicy. Definitely a good potato chip like texture. If you gave that to me and didn't tell me that it was a banana, I would not, I would never be able to tell you that that was a banana. Nice. Yeah, these, I really like this. I would definitely sit there and snack on this. These are fantastic. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it all through, thank you so much for watching and please let me know what healthy snacks you know of below that I should check out. And if you'd be interested in seeing me do maybe a favorites video of ones that I constantly reach for and rebuy all the time, let me know that as well. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so you can stick around and check out more videos. Like I said, thanks for watching and yeah, have a good day. Bye!